Why would I want to need a solar carport? I've got my roof. I put my solar on my roof. What's a carport there for? Explain to me what's your customer profile. Well, think about that. That we used to have really good fitting tariff previously, sixty cent and forty cent. What now? Like it's just bugger all. Yeah. And yeah. people used to have those fitting tariffs get. Quite good savings on the power bills. Nowadays, you still have that fairly good amount of the generations from the solar system, but if you look at the power bills, it just doesn't change at all. And that's the reason why a lot of people looking into the battery storage.、Mm. And thanks for the battery storage rebate at the moment, a lot of people will be able to have the chances to get that in and then to store the power and use it for the night time. But what about the EV uptaking? You got like one EV or maybe two. In your house, there, they are generally consuming about like I would say thirty to forty kilowatt hours every day for the charging, and your solar generation suddenly just becomes not sufficient enough. Right. So you're saying that even if I put solar all over my roof, by the time I feed the house during the day, the battery and indirectly the house, then at night, I need all of that for my solar during the day, and maybe my roof will handle that. But as soon as the EV comes into the equation, a lot of home roofs are not big enough to handle the solar. Nah, it's definitely not, and that's the reason why that we see the demand, or you can say it's the pain point from the market there, and then we brought this product. Like you will be able to see, solar carport is not really a new concept. To be、mm. honest,、uh, a lot of people have done that before, but we are probably the only one that actually the first one that bring everything all together. As an all-in-one concept, the panels, structures, and all of the things, and as a whole bundle product solution、right. to the customer. So, what you've got the engineer certificate. Yes. You. What about? I mean, I, I have to say there were a company before Clenergy actually brought a solar carport out. I actually have it at、ah. home. I got a version,、um, but I had to be on the roof. And literally trying to make the panels fit, and then use silicon or whatever I could else find to actually make it waterproof. That was my big issue because as soon as I put the panels on top, when it rained, in the small gaps the water came through. Yes. So how's yours about that? So there are two things here. So first, let's talk about the certifications. I think that's probably a lot of people have concerns on that, right?、Um, like we've basically have Gamcorp to、um, certified our structures already covering. From wind region A up to C,、uh, you probably will have wind region D at some point, but that's so extreme. I would say like less than ten percent of the chances there. So we can really say, carport works in Sydney, in Melbourne, in Brisbane. If you're in Darwin, you might need additional strengthening, but、yes. basically your carport can be installed. Yes, most parts of Australia. Yeah. What size is the solar system on the top? So. We've got two different sizes of the solar carport for residential cases. Smaller one, single carport, is four point eight kilowatt. Right. And the bigger one, double carport, is eight point zero five kilowatt to be precise.、Mm. But you can just generally say it's eight kilowatt. It's fairly good size for the standard household there. And talking about the waterproof of the panels, it's because of the special framing that we have on the panels. And we've actually、uh, hold the IP of that. There's no one else actually doing that. We don't use any、uh, kind of like extra rubber or any extra gutters. Or like you mentioned, that you put the silicones between the panels for the gaps,、mm. just to prevent the rain kind of like you know coming through.、Um, everything is done just by the physical design of that. Right. I mean, I have seen them when we filmed it, and I think they kind of overlap、yes. a little bit. So that they they have a, a fall. And then one panel slightly overlaps、yes. the next, and the the next, and the next. And you've chosen a bifacial panel, have you? Yes. Well, what's the reason you have bifacial panels in the solar carport? You remember the、uh, Melbourne side you went to there?、Mm. You know they wash the horses underneath, and I think that's the reason why. Because sometimes you're gonna have the white horses underneath there, <laughs> so you gotta get the reflection right. Bring but, that up. But it also general... means the place isn't dark, is it? It kind of you still get a, a good brightness, but you get extra output from the reflection, is it? Yes. So basically, because our solar car pod is best to be put on the concrete base, and most of the concrete you would have really good, you know, reflection, reflection from there.、Mm. So,、mm. of course, then. 
it's going to be a really good for the uh, beneficial panels to bring that up with the extra 5% of the generation. Mm-hmm. So if I take Sydney, for example, it's a little bit below 5 kilowatt hours per kilowatt of the system that yep. on average I can get per day out of that. So that means if you give me eight, I'm talking a double carport, mm-hmm. eight kilowatt uh, of solar, then I should really get close to 40 yep, kilowatt hours there. out of that, which then with an EV would give me about, if I put two, about 150K yep. of driving yeah. that I'd actually get out of that carport per car. Yes. Well, so with other words, really, if you have the solar carport and you have two EVs, you kind of become nearly self-sufficient. And you can literally just install the EV charger on the post and just plug in and charge it. Right, right, right. Now, um, in the math, if you pay about two, two and a half thousand dollars per year on petrol, and let's say you won't be charging everything out of the carport because you, you travel and you might charge somewhere on the way, yeah. but you could possibly achieve about a two thousand dollars saving per yeah. car. Yeah, so true. the carport could potentially give you back four grand a year. Yeah, um, and means then you are paying it off, and you created an asset for your house. Yes, exactly. What about the solar rebate? Does it apply to your panels? Yes. So solar rebate is purely on the solar panels there, mm. and our panels are CC listed, so you still can claim the SDC as you know any other solar installations you've done. So basically, I can get a carport and the government's actually going to give me some money for. Yes. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators and find your quality local installers. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.